In this video, we'll look at how to view data with the Test Harness Data window. In the Test Harness Data window, on the left side is a tree showing all of the devices, sessions, and data types that are configured in this Test Harness. Now in this Test Harness, I have both a master and an outstation, and they are communicating with each other. Within this view, I can right-click on the channel and modify or delete it. I can add a session as well. I can right-click on a session and modify and delete it as well. So this is the same functionality that's available from the main test harness window where we can also modify or delete sessions. In addition, within the data window, I have the option to save the session or restore the session as an XML file, clear the database, and also work with simulation files. We'll cover simulation files in a separate video. Within the tree view, the data window shows everything below this value in the tree. So for example, when I click on the channel, I can see all of the points that are configured in that channel. If I click on the session, I only see the points for that session. In this particular example, they're the same because I only have one session on the channel. If I click on a specific data type, then I only see the points of that particular data type. So in the master view, the data window shows all of the points that have been reported by the outstation, as well as their current value, the flags, and the time it was updated. In the outstation view, we're actually looking at the outstation's database as it exists on the test harness. So within the outstation, we can change the value of the points in the database and they will be reported up to the master. So if we right click on a point we have the option to change the value or set the flags. For a binary point the only change we can make is toggling the value. It's currently off. If I toggle it it turns on. Toggle it again and it turns off. For double bit inputs I can set any of the double bit values. I can increment counters. And I can change the value of analog inputs using either the up and down arrows or just typing in a new value. We can also modify the flags for each of these points. To do that we right click and select set flags and we get a dialog that lets us set the various flags. This dialog is custom depending on the data type. So for example a binary input has a chatter flag whereas an analog input does not have chatter but does have overrange and reference check. Now you may have noticed as I've right clicked on these points that one of the options is to hide the data point. If we select that this point will no longer be shown. Note I have point number 0 selected, click hide and point 0 is no longer shown. If we do that accidentally or we want to get the point back we can go to options show hidden data points. Now the points are shown, the hidden points are highlighted in this blue and we can unhide them by right clicking and selecting unhide data points. Hiding data points is very useful for creating a custom view. For example, maybe you want to create a view of only a specific set of points on a device. Perhaps they are the most critical points. So to do that we can select view, create new view, and name this view. I'll just call it uh, important points. Now we can select that view and we can hide any points that we don't want to be visible in this view.
So now this view doesn't have points 1, 2, and 3, but if we go back to the default view, they're still visible there. Also in the data window, there is a description field. We can put anything in the description field to describe these points. And when we save the workspace, these descriptions will be saved. And if we reload the workspace, they'll be reloaded. So this makes it very easy to put English descriptions on all of your points so that you don't have to keep remembering what's point zero and what's point one and so forth. We can also rearrange the view by dragging columns. The test harness also supports configuring the database from a CSV file. To demonstrate that, I'm going to close this workspace and I'm going to open a sample workspace that we ship. That reads the configuration from a CSV file. So if you notice, we have no points in the slave now. But I can load a sample script that reads a CSV file. And when I run it, I get a browser window. I can select the CSV file I want to read. And then the database is populated. with the points in the CSV file, including the description field. So the data window provides us a great view into our devices. We can modify the device configuration. We can view the data in the database. For a master, this will be the points reported by the outstation. On the outstation, it's the points that will be reported to the master. We can modify the points in the database, modify the point values in the database, and we can also create custom views to show us select portions of the database.